Hey, my name is Josh, and I'm making a micro-budget film. Um, I'm in the process of doing that right now. I've actually only shot one day on the film so far, and I'm doing it in my free time, days I can take off from work or on weekends. And I wanted to document and just kind of share what I'm learning through the process. I've made films before. I've made two feature films before. Um, but I've never done it on like such a small, small scale. It's just me shooting a lot of this and I'm working with just my own pocket money. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to cover a bunch of different topics in each of these videos. And today I wanted to talk about writing. And for me, writing has been a struggle. Um, I often get stuck in the very early ideation phase of a film it's really fun for me to come up ideas and to just daydream about the possibilities of what a film could be. And it's really tempting to stay in that place, but you can't really stay there and uh, have an actual film in the end. <laughs> Eventually you have to pull the movie idea down into reality and turn it into a screenplay. And unfortunately in that process for me, it's always uh, become imperfect. And I have, you know, learned to live with that and realize that I'm an imperfect human being making an imperfect thing. And that's okay, that's what's part of being human. Um, but I have found some things that have helped me continue to move through that phase. Because what I used to do and what I heard um, from a lot of people, what they do is write a vomit draft. Now. Uh, maybe people mean a different thing when they say a vomit draft, but for me, I've always thought of it as like, literally you just have a very, very, very rough idea of what the movie's gonna be and you just start writing it and just push through. It doesn't matter if it sucks, just keep going and finish the movie and yeah, your, your script is going to suck, but you can make it better. And I think that works for some people, does not work for me. The problem is that, um, I'll get 15 pages into it. You know, I have a good idea of what happens in the beginning and maybe the ending, but not the middle. You get 15 pages in and I fundamentally start doubting the version of the idea I've cho chosen to go with or like the tone I've chosen. It's just like not working. And so then I'm like, I need to, I need to start over because it's just a waste of time for me to finish this. And then you start over and the same thing happens because you just haven't, thought through the full film enough. This is how my brain works. I don't know about yours. Um, and so it's like not even worth it to push through and finish it because the film is just going to be so different by the time you finish it and, and just not <laughs> just not the same that it feels like an absolute waste of time. It's not even making a new version of the script. It feels like a different script. So anyways, that's to say I'm using a note card method now and uh, the note card is great. The digital note card is great um, because with the digital note card, you can edit every note card as much as you want. You can lay them out and you don't have to worry about all the physical things with the note card where you have to have a table space. You have to be able to leave the note cards out for a long period of time uh, on a dedicated table space if you're writing it over a long period of time, you know, if you're like me and you're doing this in your free time. Yeah, digital note cards are great. I've been using Milanote. They're not a sponsor or anything. I just like them. And uh, you get 100 cards for free. And this is what I used to write um, my feature film last year. So I'm gonna, I'll just show you um, my note cards from last year. So you can see I've got, I think I got, whoops, got like 22 note cards here. And some of them are quite long and some of them are pretty short. And so what I do, you know, normally when I start the film, I have a good idea of the beginning and the end, not so much the middle. I'll just start filling out the note cards with every idea I have at the moment, make new cards for every new scene I ha idea I have. And then I just fill that out until the film feels like it's enough or satisfying to me. So I'll fill those out, but those are usually pretty rough. What I'll do then is I make sure every single one of those cards is really fleshed out as, as much as I need it to be. So like this first scene here, there's not any dialogue, but you just have descriptions of what happens in the scene. 
And as you go on, yeah, I just put every single idea I have for this scene down into this note card. Um, and so you can see there is a lot of dialogue here. And so basically, I just want to make my life as simple as possible when I actually get into the screenwriting phase. I don't worry about formatting uh, because I, I want to take the pressure off. I don't want it to feel like it has to be in the final form of the thing. But when I finally have filled it all out, I feel good about it all. It's really kind of fun and not that hard to put it all together in the screenwriting because there's a lot of copying and pasting. Um, all, all I'm really doing in that phase is formatting it, fleshing it out more. There is going to be hiccups like transitionary things that I didn't think about of how do we get from this scene to this scene in a way that makes sense. Um, but usually that isn't overwhelming anymore like it used to be because the next scene is already laid out and I just have to figure out how to smooth and pave over um, the road between these two scenes. So yeah, that's the note card method that's worked for me. Another great thing about it um, with Milanote specifically is you can really easily save like images and links from other websites and then like bring them all into one place. And that's really helpful for me, like um, on one of the films I'm working on for my project right now, there's basically no dialogue in one of uh, the stories. And so bringing all these images from different movies, different influences into one story uh, was really helpful for me to just like give me ideas. So that's what's worked for me for writing, note cards. Um, I'm gonna continue to make these I think I'm going to be talking about casting next, um, and then I might talk about storyboarding a little bit as somebody who cannot draw very well, um, how I handle that and how that is really important for me. I did not used to storyboard in the past, or not very thoroughly, uh, that did not go well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon.